Live bait fishery is one of the main fisheries in the Maldives. Both tuna and reef fishery rely on this fishery. It may not be clear when this fishery began, but what is clear is that Maldivian fishers have been using live bait in the Poland line tuna fishery for several centuries. Commonly caught bait include silver sprat, blue sprat, anchovies, cardinal fish and fusiliers. For a long time, live bait fishing has been carried out within the Maldives atolls. Bait caught using a small mesh net are kept alive in a special hold designed for keeping the bait. In today's boats, there are two to three such bait holds. To circulate seawater in the hold, some boats have holes on the hull through which water enters while others use pumps to pour seawater into the hold. Like other fisheries, this fishery has several challenges. These include shortages in bait during some months and declining abundance of specific bait species. As a result, fishers have to make long journeys to find bait. In addition, fishers are sometimes unable to go out for tuna fishing due to shortages of bait. It also requires hard work to catch the large quantities of bait that is required for today's Poland line vessels. Unable to utilize effectively, sometimes the bait coat are also discarded. At times, a large portion of the captured bait or all the bait die and had to be discarded. This happens due to several reasons, including not being able to care for the live bait during bait fishing. Nets use for catching bait. Some fishers use nets that have knots. When the bait fish rub against the knots on the bait net, their skin gets bruised. In addition, scales and the mucus that protect these small fish are lost. To reduce this, knotless nets can be used. Even now, some fishers use knotless nets for bait fishing. Transfer of bait from net to hold. During transfer of bait, when the net is raised with a huge quantity of bait in it, many bait fish get squashed. In addition, being rubbed against the net also affects the mucus layer. Fish hold out of the water suffocate and gets more stressed. When transferring bait from net to hold, it is best to transfer the bait using a cloth scoop with sea water. Even now, some fishers transfer bait using such scoops, while others use scoops made of net. When scoops made of net are used, the fish are briefly out of the water and are more stressed. Even in foreign countries, they transfer bait with great care. Poor circulation in the bait hole. In some fishing vessels, seawater is pumped from the top and excess water leaves the hold overflow from the top near the surface too. Hence, there is little opportunity for the new seawater to reach the bottom of the hold. This leads to depletion of oxygen levels at the bottom, suffocating the bait and making them weak. The dead bait at the bottom of the hold also give out ammonical substances increasing the mortality. To keep the bait alive for a long period, it is essential to circulate the water inside the hold properly and increase the oxygen level. Oxygen level can be increased by proper circulation or by aeration with the help of an aquarium pump or a compressor. Too much movement of water inside the bait hold. During rough seas, when the vessel is heading out in search of tuna, the water inside the bait hold moves a lot. On such days, when the bait inside the tank is jolted from one side to the other, the bait loses their scales and mucus, making them weak. The natural environment where the bait fish lives is not rough like this. 
Hence, if the water in the bait hold is still and calm, it helps to prolong the life of the bait in the hold. To minimize this movement of water in the tank, even now some fishers fill their bait hold till the water touches the deck. In Japanese vessels, the mouth of the bait hold is raised so that when the water is filled until it rises up into the mouth of the bait tank, the water inside the hold stays very calm and still. Excess bait put in the bait hold. It is important to know that different bait species can be stocked at different densities inside the bait hold. The behavior of sprat, cardinal fish and fusiliers vary. Hence it is important to ensure when bait are stocked in the hold, the bait do not suffocate. Sometimes when plenty of bait is available, fishers stock excessive amounts of bait into the bait hold resulting in suffocation and death shortly after putting them in the hold. In addition, the dead bait settle at the bottom of the hold, releasing chemicals into the hold and consequently resulting in the death of more bait. It is important to keep the bait alive in the hold as long as possible. Discarding of bait will not only affect the fisheries but also put more pressure on live bait stocks. This is because if there is an increase in discarded bait, more bait needs to be caught. Hence, using live bait wisely will benefit both fishers and the live bait fishery. Every negative impact on the live bait fishery will affect both tuna and reef fisheries in the Maldives. Mm -hmm.